Welcome to Knockburn Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to give a full review of Walking Dead Dead City, our thoughts, what we, th what we think, and uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, appreciate you guys checking out the reactions. Love the support. You guys loved our reactions. We actually loved them, too. And, of course, you guys also loved... The dancing. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. I cringe. People love it, man. I it, did get in in the last episode, but people, I felt like it was a little too late. Yeah, it was too late. Mm. People are, people now say we have to do dancing all the time. All right, I'll mix it in. For title screens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dead City, guys. Wow. Um, what an amazing start to the Walking Dead Universe spinoffs. I think this one was... Absolutely fantastic. This was one that we were super hyped for because we love, of course, Jeffrey D. Morgan as Negan. And we do like and love uh, Lauren Cohen as Maggie. And uh, what did you think of the overall story? Of, or actually, let's go with this. Um, what did you think of the main plot point of the story in regards to finding Herschel and Maggie Maggie's true intentions, which we did theorize early on, but coming to fruition. Yeah. You know, uh, I'd say it was a little bit predictable. Yeah. Right? I yeah. mean, y you knew, you kind of had a feeling it was going to go down like that, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that it wasn't done well. Yeah. Um, I definitely thought it was done well, but yeah, I mean, we, we called it pretty early that it was going to happen. Pretty early, and I think with our videos leading, you know, leading up to it, even before it was called Dead City, when it was... Um, uh, Isle of the Dead, which we like that title too. You know, we kept theorizing, like, you know, what are gonna, what are the, what is gonna bring these two together? You know, what is it gonna be? And uh, when we finally figured out that, yeah, they revealed it was with Herschel, we were, in a way, I, I was kind of pissed. I was like, again, <laughs> Herschel's taken again. Well, they took, but they, at least they took a, a piece of him this time. They took a piece of him this time, which was insane. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. not completely vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, uh, or, or he's not, you know, a completely saved character that can't be hurt, uh, you know. Right. So, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the storyline. Um, you just you knew getting these two characters together, uh, it was going to be good mm -hmm. regardless. And and the actors, uh, actresses like mm -hmm. they're amazing. So you, we knew we were going to get a good show. I, right. I, at least I thought. Yeah. And, you know, one of the other things that we thought early on if it was going to be annoying or not was them bickering with each other you know because we knew glenn was going to be a source that was going to yeah. be brought up but they didn't pepper it in there so much that you were annoyed by it exactly yeah. and that's what i love you know we saw some flashbacks with maggie and you know there's always going to be tension between them and we knew that we just didn't want the show we didn't want the writers to actually continuously as they're bickering bringing up glenn bringing up what he did bringing up what negan did and, and they didn't do that. They did it perfectly where they split it up into different spots and episodes. And I think it fit the storyline very well. Yeah. Um, it was pretty brutal for what Maggie did, but we understand what she did. But then that rolls into the Croat. What did you think of the Croat? I, I, I liked him. Uh, I'm very happy with what they how they did that storyline. Um, an ex-savior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um you know, we knew it was going to be an ex-savior, or we, we we had a pretty good idea it was going to be an ex-savior, yeah. um, but one that literally, like, infatuated. was infatuated by Negan, obsessed with Negan, and <laughs> I thought that actor did an amazing job oh, yeah. portraying that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was awesome. It, uh, it was interesting because we, we, you know, when we heard he was an ex-savior, we were like, okay, you know, what is he going to be doing? Is he going to be super pissed at Negan? And then when we found out that Negan blew his ear off, he was like, you know, is, is Croat trying to get him at, get at Negan for revenge? And then we learned, like, this dude still loves this man. Yeah. He wants Negan to join him. Like, he's almost bowing down saying, Negan, I found you. Like, yeah. please come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Really close accent there too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do a Negan! 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 <laughs> I'm ready. We love that part. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I I I I really even liked it to where we got revealed who the bigger villain was, which I forgot her name. That's what I was going to ask. The Dama, character's uh, name, Dama. Dama. Thank Dama, you. Yeah. Um, that Croat bowed to her as well, and it was almost like, okay, Croat's nothing. Uh, he's just a lost puppy uh, that they that they can train. Mm -hmm. um, 
I even loved that aspect of it. That's what I was going to ask. Like, were you were you uh, were you more upset that Croat wasn't the, the main villain? And not he, at all, or not, not yeah, at all. I think it works well with yeah. Dama because how they wrote her character, she, she. I don't know if she has like I don't know if she was like somebody political in her old life, but she can just she dominates the scene. Yeah, I, I'm not. It's amazing. I, I'm not truly convinced on the um, can she instill the fear like Negan used to mm. or that Croat does, right? She kind of uses Croat for that and then Croat does exactly. his own thing like he was but using the methane. That's exactly but. what Negan used Croat for. Right. Yep. Um, yep. You know, so I I did like that. I really did. Mm-hmm. Um, not making Croat like the main villain and and really, because then it fits with the infatuation with Negan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, Truly if he does. was a villain... Based upon what Negan did to him, he'd want to blow him away. Right. You know? Yeah. And it sounded like what was really interesting is that Croat, even though we saw that scene where he, in a way, was going to torture Herschel, I, he didn't do anything to Herschel. It was actually Dama. Well, we don't know. Well, if, we well, don't know if Dama cut his toe off himself I think, or not. I think but, Croat cut that off. Yeah, he probably yeah. did. But yeah. in a way, he wasn't really torturing him. He was just trying to scare him to make him think that he's, you know, being kidnapped for a specific purpose and not revealing the true reason why he was there. But of course, Dama probably told Croat, okay, take this, take his toe. And then she has her plan when she was talking with Negan that you're going to do this stuff for us or I'm going to go back for more pieces, yeah. <laughs> which is, which is brutal, <laughs> which is brutal. Um, but, but, but again, I'm not so convinced on that just yet, because yeah. look, we walked into a movie theater of guys laying around sleeping. Yeah. It doesn't seem like she has, I haven't seen much. They like, they like watching plays. It doesn't seem like we have a very organized group here. And that's no. maybe the reason why she needed Negan. Right. Um, the Barazzi but, aren't really, they're kind of leaderless right now. Yeah. They need somebody that can truly lead. Yeah, boy, no, no, <laughs> boy. <I know>. Uh, <laughs> which uh, you know, another aspect of this show, which of course we love as Negan fans, was the callbacks to the saviors. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the scene early on where we get Negan being brutally, you know, just uh, chaotic with that group that stormed into that building. Oh yeah, that scene where he guts the guy. Mm-hmm. That scene amazing yeah. uh, the smile from him amazing yeah. and then of course simon ah <laughs> oh, love seeing steven Ogg. that was so yeah. awesome man and it, what's crazy is like we know how brutal negan was yeah we know how brutal and crazy simon was and they both were in a way afraid of Croat because yes he killed that girl but I wouldn't, Damn. I wouldn't necessarily say they were afraid, afraid of him, of him but, but they were more pissed because yeah, you yeah. could uh, like first of all Negan will not hurt children he disobeyed an order um, and and Simon is going to follow whatever Negan does mm-hmm. um, he's he's a loyal troop except for Ocean at that time yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so killing a child to Negan and Simon is an absolute you've crossed the line mm-hmm. yeah yeah um, so. One other thing that we absolutely loved, and I think they did a great job, uh, the score. The music in this series absolutely, was yeah. fantastic. The intro, the title screen music was amazing, but the music in general throughout the series helped the story and helped it made helped it be more intense. It was great with the silent scenes, and then they turned it up with like the dark, melodic, ominous music, and it was done really well. I really hope that like they release that soundtrack because I want it. <laughs> yeah, or or keep that that same group of uh, composers and for and, season two, you know, for season two because yeah, that was that was great. That was awesome. You have a favorite scene? Uh we kind of touched them all. Touched a few of them. You know, Negan's uh, gut ripping scene, um, Simon scene. I do like. When Negan and Croat finally met and were talking, it was kind of short, but it was just seeing that interaction with Croat being infatuated. Um, For me, it was the Magan, Mag, Magan, (laughs) Magan, Negan and Maggie. There we go. (laughs) Um, The the Maggie and Negan scene walking up the stairs. and Um, Where he figures it out. He figures it out. Yeah. That scene was awesome. That look from JDM. Oh, dude. 
Yeah, he's like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. That was awesome. Uh, so one story aspect at the end, uh, even a lot of commenters were not really happy about it or they're kind of worried of how this is going to go into season two. What did you feel about the new Babylon piece? I told you from, you know, throughout the show, the end. I do not like the Babylon group. I just yeah. think it's too, it, honestly, guys, for me, it's too cheesy. It really is. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting because, you know, Pearly told them what was going on. And this woman, who I guess is the leader, is very curious about this methane now. And it's going to be interesting because <laughs> it seems like she's holding his family over him yeah. to get more information on this and that's and that's another thing that i also mentioned to you while we were reacting was the whole methane crap yeah whatever you know at the end Weird. of the day it's a show but yeah. i just i didn't like the whole babylon group period i they just, were just it's they're brutal and they have all these rules like you can't drink alcohol or we're gonna gut you and hang you or something like that i mean it's insane stupid it's it's stupid like why why would you join a group like that well i but, mean look you know, at the end of the day it's you know surviving you're forced you yeah. could be forced you're forced uh, yeah. it could be a dictator type thing which sounds like it is right um but yeah i just i don't know could have done something different than that yeah i do like the pearly character yeah he grew, I really he, do he grew on me yeah he, he really grew on me i think he's got um a good setup for the next season, uh, depending on how he's going to be able to get Babylon the info that he wants, and then maybe try to escape, and maybe try to go back and well, I don't know about help Negan, but because um, he doesn't know what's happening. And that's that what piece. I was going to say. So here's the deal: he's <laughs> going back to a Negan that is not just a Negan roaming around the city. It will be a Negan that's ruling the city. Who's in charge? Yeah. And <laughs> so it, it we'll get it, this. Kind of brings it into the topic of. What about next season? Mm -hmm. And I really hope that they open up next season with Negan completely 180, like back to who he used to be. <laughs> like, I, and it, it makes sense though. Right. Like, he's now in charge. He has to be in charge. So if he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And what if he says, you know what? My life's over. I'm going to go back to my old way. Yeah. Well, I want to see, I want to see, <clears throat> because Dama mentioned that there are other factions, other boroughs, you know, like the Bronx and things like that. So I kind of want to see Negan going to those other factions and telling them they're going to join them in a sense. Does he have a bat? I was going to ask, do you think he's going to make another Lucille? I would absolutely love that. Or will he make a new weapon and call it? something else i i think it has <laughs> to be a lucille a yeah. and here's why or do you call it annie <laughs> no she's not dead well she's we don't know dead. but you call uh, it annie <laughs> be because imagine maggie going back to try and get him out of there yeah and running into him with holding that freaking thing yeah <laughs> it's well see the thing about negan though is that he mentioned you know he does these things you know he was doing these things for appearances you know and and he has to hear. And he's going to have to yeah. hear. Now, of course, when if Maggie does see Negan with a bat and a leather jacket, she might freak out for a minute. But she knows that whatever he's doing there... See, here's the thing. Negan... Maggie doesn't know the full details, of course, of that conversation with Dama and Negan. So she, And I don't think Herschel even told or shown Maggie that his toe was gone. No. So something, maybe something comes up in second season where Herschel says that or mentions that they took my toe. And maybe at the course of the season, Negan in secret tells Maggie, look, I'm doing this because Dama says that if I don't do this, she will come back for Herschel and take more pieces. I just want to see you that know, first just, initial well, yeah. reaction of <laughs> seeing him holding that thing. Yeah. Either another Lucille or, or a, a new weapon. A, a variation of it. A variation it could be it, a yeah. bat with Spikes. Spikes coming out. That'd be sweet. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It was such God, it was such a good show. I, I think they did a really good job. Super glad that they, you know, definitely needed to do season two because but, how they ended it, yeah. You, you have to. But you could tell. You could tell towards the end of this thing, like, okay, we're we don't have enough time to finish the story. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be more. <laughs> There's gonna be more. There's gonna be yeah. more, yeah. Um some of the some of the lighter moments I did really enjoy with Maggie and Negan. You know, they're trying to talk to each other, trying you know, they're both being emotional. They both told very personal stories to each other. And when you think about it in a way, you could you could say, well, Maggie was only doing it to further her 
process of getting Negan to them. But sure. I think she was opening up. I think that those two, with everything that she's gone through, and of course they've both gone through, I think that I, I we know that Negan will open up to her. We know that for a fact. But yeah. I think that even though she did, it could have been for the wrong purpose, but I think she truly did it to open up to him and you know try to move on. Of course, at the end, she finally you know told Herschel that you know she's tired of wanting to do this and she needs to she needs to make a change so she can finally move on, which is great. But um, I just love those latter moments between those two. I did too. Yeah, the 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 part where Negan told her that they make one hell of a team mm. uh, that was a really good scene. Um, you know, you could kind of see that they were starting to trust each other a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and for all those that maybe say that's not possible or that wasn't happening, um, they trusted enough each other enough to go over a zip line. <laughs> yeah. One at a time. Yeah. <laughs> like Maggie trusted Negan enough for Negan to go over that zip line first mm. <laughs> and then her go where yeah. he could easily just cut that thing and say, I'm done with this. Yeah. For sure. But uh, yeah, <laughs> and look, she trusted him enough to take him and try and rescue her son. Now, I know yeah. that that was a ploy. <laughs> yeah. The deal was a trade. But... Do you think she's going to go back for him? Oh, yeah. 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 I think that, um, yeah, I think that however they're going to do it, she's going to go back. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to go back with herself. By Does herself. Herschel come with? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. <sighs> I don't know. That would be interesting. I or can, or, I, uh, or I, Ginny. I, look. I say that the only way that Herschel comes with is it by his own forcefulness. Like, yeah. no, I am going with you. You do not have a choice. Yeah. yeah. I really actually, I really want more with Ginny. I think that, you know, she didn't speak a word barely in that, in that series, but I think there needs to be more with her. Yes, Negan told her that he killed her father, but... Is that a lie? I kind of think he was lying to get her to go back to the bricks. But if he was telling the truth... That's brutal, but hey, your your Ginny, your father was trying to do bad things to his wife, so yeah. <laughs> but I think right now he I was lying. It, just I to think say it was a lie to get her to go with yeah. Pearly back to the bridge. Yeah, I think it was a lie as well. But so. uh, I did really like that storyline too. Like yeah. I think that was actually one of my. Fa I think that was my favorite over the Pearly story. Over even. the Pearly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pearlie's storyline was good. It was pretty. It was pretty, it it was pretty sad, you know, with his brother, you know, being alone and you know the bad things that his brother did, and he you know died alone. But you could see Pearlie was feeling remorseful about it, and he felt really bad about it. Yeah. So, but uh, oh, season two is going to be epic. Yeah, it's going to be badass. Um, can't really think of what else as of right now theories for season two. Uh, we'll get to that down the road. We'll definitely have a lot of more videos talking about it. But overall, yeah, season one, I'd say I'd say it was uh, I'd say it was a nine out of ten. Yeah, yeah, for me, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nine out of eight ten and a half me. out eight of ten. Half? Yeah, eight out of ten. Eight. Yeah. So eight. either way, very good season one. Yes, very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and we move on to Daryl. Yeah, we need to move on to Daryl next. So uh, we are, we since we've both got back from vacation, we're going to be doing the reaction and breakdown to that and also to the Rick and Michonne series. Uh, that title is actually called The Ones Who Live. That's not, interesting, yeah. Not, I, I'm okay with it, but I kind of wanted a different title. I, I was fine with Rick and Michonne, but the whatever. The Ones Who Live. The Ones Who Live. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that just means like we're gonna get the show. The end of the show is gonna be them showing up to Alexandria, the way that the source material was supposed to end. I like don't. everyone's dead. <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll we'll see how they do this. But uh, so stay tuned, guys. But let us know your thoughts of how season one in the comments of everything that we talked about. Let us know how you felt about season one of Dead City and what your thoughts and maybe expectations are for season two. We will see you guys in the next one. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. out.